What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we're going to be working on this 2015 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 liter engine and what we're going to be doing today is replacing the condenser on this vehicle. This is a very very common issue on these vehicles so if you need to do this on your vehicle now or in the future, which you will, stay tuned. Before we get started, let me just tell you that there is two ways of taking out this condenser. You can either remove the radiator and take it out and then move out the condenser, or you can do it the way we're going to do it, which we're going to be pulling it up straight up. And instead of removing the radiator, because I really don't want to mess with the coolant, I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to have to buy coolant. So we're just going to not touch the radiator, move it out of the way and pull the condenser straight out. Alright guys, so here we are. This is the engine bay right here. I've already started vacuuming uh, the Freon because I've already put Freon in it. I already put a light leak detector in it and I already saw what kind of leak it has. Like I said, this is an extremely common issue on this vehicle and actually I could have found this leak without actually putting leak detector on it. So here, let me show you. We got the front of the vehicle right here and it has joints here. And here, let me show you. You guys can see the condenser right there. Um, that's where the dryer and the condenser uh, meet up right there and it's leaking from right there um, And like I said, this is a very very common. Issue. I replaced the same condenser on a separate. I think the other one was a GMC um, Sierra, but it's basically the same thing and I replaced the, the condenser on that truck About a year ago, and I didn't think much of it But when they brought this one and I saw that it was leaking from the exact same spot I started doing some research and it turns out it is a very, very common issue. It has three wells. I think it's one on top, two in the middle. And it always leaks from those areas right there, those little wells. It just starts leaking. So let's go ahead and replace that condenser. I know you're going to have to do it soon. So might as well watch the entire video and get yourself mentally prepared for this. All right, for starters, I'm going to take off um, this plastic cover here, which I already started removing right here. This plastic cover is held on by this little type of clips here. These clips go inside here. They actually go like that. And to remove those clips, you just have to turn it until you find the actual tab. Let me turn it this way. You guys can see the tab right there. So we're gonna put this right there on the tab and then we can turn it a little bit slowly. You'll find it where once it pops, there it goes. And then you just pull the whole thing. There it goes. And it has um, one here, one there, one there. It has one there. One here, that one stays in there. See, we have two over there, one over there. One more here, one over here. Now that all this is off, now we can go ahead and remove this and get it out of the way. Okay, so with the cover off, um, the condenser that we're gonna be replacing is gonna be right here in this area here. This right here is the radiator and this is the condenser here. We're gonna remove this metal beam that goes from here. It goes all the way to the other side. And we're actually able to go ahead and remove it we need to take out these bolts here, this 13 millimeter here. I think this is a 10 millimeter. And then down here, it has three 10 millimeter bolts looking upward. So they actually bolted up from the bottom, going up into this. And it has three more on this side. Um, for that, we're gonna have to remove the air box. Um, we can probably just unplug it from here, move it out of the way, move it down that way, and then get the bottom part of the air box so we can get some room there. And we should be able just to put a ratchet under here and take that off. But first, let me blow some air in here and try to get all this dust out of here. All right, so here we are. The condenser is hidden down here. And we have to remove this plastic cover here. So the best way to do it is just to pull it straight up. From one side, let's see. There it goes. This side has a little... Looks like a clip right here on the bottom. There it goes. Once that clip is off, and you guys can see it right here, it has a little tab. So just pull it off, comes all the way out, and then should have another tab on this side. There it goes. This is our condenser right here, this dark one right here. We can also see where it's leaking from right there. Like I said, those joints are very, very common issue. So now the first thing we gotta do is Let's disconnect it from right here. We just grab this um, little plastic piece and we move it back. Okay, now we move this one back. 
And right here, here it has like little uh, metal clips. I'm gonna use this little hook here. You see how the clip kind of popped off a little bit? Grab it from here, pull it all the way out, put it all around. And this is how the clip looks. You just gotta find where it ends and kind of grab it from here and kind of pull it out. So now this is out. This is good. We're gonna put a um, drip pan down there because this is a transmission line here. I think the transmission cooler is up here. So we're gonna put a drip pan and I'm gonna disconnect this from this side. There it goes. Comes off and you guys can see it is already dripping. There is nothing else on this side. Um, the only thing that I see is um, it has this little clip right there. So it looks like all we have to do is push this tab in right here. Push it in and then everything just gonna pop out. Okay. In and then pull this up, there it goes. Now that it's out of there, we move on to the other side. We're taking off this side now. Now we gotta do this side. We have a clip just like it on the other side. We have another clip here. And we have two more bolts on the bottom here. Let me show you the dancer right here. Like I said, we have this one clip left to do. And then down here where the AC lines get connected, there's gonna be, it might be a 10 or, or 13 millimeter bolt that goes here, um, or actually a nut, because this one comes with a new, um, kind of like a stud. So you might just have to take off the nut to pull out the line. So we're gonna have that one right there. And I think when it turns here, like the radiator goes here, and where, where this line's passed through the radiator, there's like another um, little bracket that holds it here. So there might be another 10 millimeter there. But we're almost done. He's gonna move that under this clip, this one, and then we should be able just to pull it straight up. Okay, so here is the old one. I already pulled it out. Let me show you once again. It was leaking from right here. This is the outside of it. Um, so, like I said, this one did have a 10 millimeter bolt here. And then I took off the nut here. The stud on the new one, I'm not gonna put it on until I slide the new one in. Um, I did undid the bracket here. This plastic piece is here. These are like, um, so air flows through properly on this thing. So I'm gonna transfer these ones um, to this new one. So I'm gonna put the, that one here and this one here, that black bracket right there on the bottom. I'm gonna put it um, right here, but I'm not gonna put this stud on until I put it in just because when I slide it in, I want the whole thing to slide in just right. Um, Cause that stud is sticking out like this much out. And I did struggle a little bit getting it up through here, so I think it'll be easier putting it at the end. So now I'm gonna transfer all this onto there and slide the new one in there. All right, so here we go. Now to drop this one in, um, the side that I have to be more careful with is the left-hand side, uh, just because it goes through those lines. So we're gonna wiggle it around. There it goes, it's all the way through. Now this one, we're gonna go in, right there. Those. Now that it's all the way in, I just gotta make sure that the bottom tabs uh, go where they should go. Okay. That one is in. This one is in. That one is in there. There we go. There it goes, those tabs are in all the way. I gotta make sure that this one clips on all the way too. As long as when you're putting it in, the the clips go um, are in the right place, you should be able just to push it in until it pops the little clip into place. Um, now that that's done, now I'm gonna install um, the little stud. I already got it um, hooked up here. The AC lines on the bottom. Everything's um, connected. Now we just got to put all the moldings and everything back on. While I do this, I am doing my vacuum. It takes like 22, 23 ounces of Freon, which is like 1.43 um, pounds of Freon. So that's how much uh, Freon this vehicle takes. Make sure that you guys vacuum out the system. Um, if you're doing this yourself, if you don't vacuum out the system, you're going to have moisture in there. Um, oxygen in there and your, your AC is never gonna be as cold as it could be. 
But that is it. We're pretty much done. Now we're just going to work our way all back. Right, we are all done. Um, I already vacuumed out the system, added the Freon in there, had the car on for uh, 15, 20 minutes um, to check the AC, make sure it's cooling properly. Um, AC on a full blast with a recycling um, mode on or whatever. Let me show you how cold this That's is. That's the thermometer right there. I don't know if you guys could hear me over the the air coming out of the van for 43 degrees. I say this vehicle is done. I also added um, leak detector, um, Freon with leak detector UV on it. Um, just to make sure if he ever leaks again or he has another leak somewhere, we can find it in the future. As of right now, that leak is done. I mean, we saw the leak, it was clear as daylight. So I don't think there's gonna have a leak anywhere else, but as long as we replace all of our gaskets, um, seals that went in whenever we put in the new condenser, we should be good. All right guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found this video helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, Hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day.